Hi Capricorn, this is Rosal with Psychic and Vienna. I'm here to do your July reading 2021. I hope I didn't say 2020 for the other ones. I don't think so. But without further fanfare, here we go. So we're wanting to take a little glimpse into what's important for Capricorn. The most important thing for our Capricorn friends for the month of July. Anything that's going to help them. So it's going to elevate their game. Help them feel. Kind of like with it and solid and steady. What the heck? That is not what I'm asking for. So a big tower crumbling. Okay. July is going to be strong because I got this in Libra. I got this in Leo. And now you. And I think I got it in Taurus as well. But uh, so I've got the tower card coming down. A lot of changes. A lot of looking around. Looking around for nuts. But it could also be looking around at nuts. Okay. Because look at our world right now. And I know some of you guys are like, Rosal, you are the nut. Well, <laughs> so be it. Okay, I'm just going to say that you're looking around, just kind of bewildered while towers just fall left and right. These are institutions. Things of all things have been established from the beginning of time, like our time, you know. But, uh, yeah, what else do we have here? So I also want to point out that you have, like, really big changes in metamorphosis happening. I've got one, two, three, four. Butterflies transitioning, um, changes, just major, major changes. So I've got the full. I feel like you're going to want to take a chance. You're going to want something new. You're going to want to go on a trip, on a new journey, a new adventure. And I feel like you're open to what Spirit has for you. I think that sacred geometry is going to really play a big thing for you. Um, at the floor of life, even crystals might become an interesting point for you if you're not into that thing right now. Amethyst is going to be very healing. Um, I feel also that you are just completely embodying like what you want and who you are. But you are standing on a ledge, so maybe things are not like super popular with other people. Then I have got the King of Cups here. So I don't know who this is. This could be somebody coming towards you who's like really grounded, but really into their own feelings. I don't like that. Keep in mind I'm reading a lot of like energy. It's not just the card and what the book booklet says or whatever. Um, you really have to use your intuition on what you're reading. And what I'm picking up on right now is this person's really concerned with their own feelings, their own emotions. They're going within and what makes them feel secure. And with this, it's almost like, hey, that ship already sailed, baby. So I don't think this is your energy. We're going to see where this goes. Some of you, this could be an employer. Um, a Pisces could be referenced, or they could just be like that fish element, that uh, emotional element. Also, I have in your energy a younger person maybe wanting to offer you some love, some fun, whatever it is that you want to call it, or that you're thinking about them, vice versa. Capricorn, so this is somebody who physically they're in one place, their heart is somewhere else, and they want their feet to be elsewhere as well, as I knock on that light. So, and I feel like also these hands here um, are like a ghost. So this could be somebody who goes to you, you go to them whatever the case may be they're just really they feel that calling towards you okay yeah this is like this is what i want this is my dream um i feel like it's kind of a secret desire and a secret dream but then i'm also looking at the pig on the upper <gasps> get these cards when pigs fly i hear that could be saying nope when pigs fly so i feel like you are their star their wish they have a desire, or you're telling me that you have a desire and a wish that you want to pull from heaven. And you can manifest this if you really focus and manifest um, on your manifestation skills. Just do it. Look, study it and do it. Maybe a little candle magic for some of you. I'm not into that thing. But some of you guys are playing with herb, with candles, with energy, learning how to master your trade, learning how to master your skills, things like that, adding more tools. Um, to your repertoire, is that how you say it? Maybe. Maybe some of you guys even making candles, dressing candles, things like that. Okay. So what else do we have for Capricorn, please? Anything for the month of July that's going to help them. Temperance. So your advice is to keep your balance in all things. 
Know that the old and the new is actually colliding, combusting, and creating a third element, Capricorn. Okay? So what you desire and what spirit desires, there might be a meshing of those two things. I don't feel like a collision. I feel like kind of a natural merging, which is going to feel really good. I think after the initial shock, things will start falling into place easier for you. Okay, I'm going to take this card too. Sun gazing can be of a point of interest for you. Getting out in the sun, first 15 minutes of the day, last 15 minutes of the day. You're going to get your own downloads. Also, if you notice, this ray from the sun is white. Now, what color is the sun now? White. When have you ever seen a white sun, by the way? I don't know. Maybe it's just in Phoenix, but the sun is white. Now, I did capture it the other day, um, and it was red, and the sun, the sky was red. It was really beautiful. But where's our yellow sun and, and all the beautiful colors? I don't know, but it's strictly white now. Thank you, BG. And if you know, you know. That's all I got to say. And if you think I'm crazy, no, you're the crazy one. I'm sorry. I had to say that because I saw that on TikTok. And, of course, everything TikTok, but... Yeah, you may think I'm crazy, and that's fine, whatever. I, I know I am, but there's a lot of merit to what I have to say as well. Now, this lady on TikTok, I digress, she was talking about something, and she goes, and if you think that I'm crazy, you're the crazy one. And I just really like that response. Um, it tickled my humor. That's all I have to say about that. So, yeah, it's good for us to speak out as well. So, look, it's going to be a lover coming back, a choice. Maybe even a Sagittarius. What is that? Like um, a compound bow on her arm. But you have to make a choice. And behind them is a swirl of stability. It's a nod to the root chakra. So this is about what keeps you stable, what keeps you grounded. And this is about your home, your hearth, your livelihood, how you're going to put food on the table. All of those things. You could be making a decision about that those things ten of cups you want happiness you don't care where you find it music is going to be really important to you this ribbon of music is really beautiful um balance is going to be very important to you as well look at the purple getting messages from above it's going to be really important um a lot of greenery as well and i feel like you just want that like companionship with the lovely okay just enjoying yourself so thank you Yes, I'm not going to tell the cards what to do. They tell me what to do. Um, justice. So these jumped out. I'm taking them as they jumped out. There's a situation that involves justice, but it's reversed. Not going to be justice. Not going to be fair. And then with the strength card, this could be a lust card, but this could also involve Leo. Or simply that the situation is not fair and you feel powerless and um, unable to kind of assert yourself to make things change for the better okay hopefully not but that's what i see what else do we have i kind of want to know about this tower here before i move on to love why is this tower here for capricorn my strong capricorn friends what's going on with you in the month of july here's a strength card in the upright okay one to the head ready with the ammo Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, number 11, Master, number 11, the two pillars, number two, your stability, clarity, your power, and your strength. That's why in the Hierophant, this has to do with order, with order of the world, of what's going on right now, with the V, and I'm not talking that V, I'm talking this V, okay? I know you guys know what I'm talking about, like. I know, I know I can act the fool sometimes, but we're talking about what's going on in the world and current events. Number five, a lot of fluctuations and changes. That's what this has to do with, okay? This tower card has everything to do with the hierophant and commitment, old orders and establishments. Propaganda, people, careful what you are watching on television. Have you ever heard of Hollywood? Illusions, trickery, it's all actually very real and very real time. 
take a peek at people that you think are really telling you the truth of conferences that they're holding and all the green screens that are going on. Why is that? And the Super 7 by the ocean. What the hell is going on, people? That's all I'm going to say. A lot of changes and fluctuations. Why is this tower here placed in the Hierophant for the month of July for our Capricorn friends? Yeah, being in the limelight. So maybe this old order, this old establishment is looking at you. What is Capricorn doing? Are they complying? Are they doing the right thing? Are they doing um, what we tell them is the right thing? I don't know. Six of Wands can also be being celebrated, being admired and supported. By the way, your ancestors are around you supporting you. God is obviously supporting and encouraging you um, and lifting you up. I feel like I feel like victory, but you have a lot of choices. You've got a lot of choices two viable choices okay what are these choices about you can do your own thing you can do your own thing and i feel like somebody's going to sound the alarm uh, but you don't care you're going to defend what's yours and who's yours like a mother okay a mother effort sorry if you guys don't swear i got a filthy mouth obviously but this person they're like you know what you can come right here but no more no closer i'm gonna i'm gonna vet you evaluate you judge you and take a peek and see if not i'll just whack it with that stick because you know what you realize that you have no place right there with the old world order of how things are going right now you see like you know what let's pack up and go this just isn't right um some of you guys are like you know what's not even real others of you are just moving on in general these cards are similar i hope i don't get them mixed up Okay, so Capricorns, let's do your love life. It's like heavy, you guys. Capricorn for love. Let's see, people that are partnered right now. Five of Wands, a lot of fighting, fluctuations, changes. What's going on? I'm going to fight over this, I'm fight over that. I want your attention, I want his attention. No, I don't like that. Uh, seven of Hazards, you're going to see, is this even right? Are we compatible? We're looking out of the two pane glass right here somebody observing you you observing somebody looking to see do i invest time any more time energy and effort into this situation this partnership situation ship okay so you can be involved with a leo or uh another fire sign it would be aries leo sag looking to see if you're going to expend any more energy towards them or not evaluating what else do we have for love for capricorns please you want clarity, okay? Clarity. Capricorn. Capricorn partner in the month of July. Clarification on these cards, please. You want something that's solid. You're not gonna accept anything less than solid. If your marriage is not solid, it's gone. If things are on rocky ground, it's gone. You're abandoning all things that make you feel unstable and unsure and insecure. And if you feel like, you know, it's a constant battle and a fight, you're gone. Done. Next, moving on. Some people, it means a divorce. For other people, your partner's going to get serious. And they got to do it real quick or they'll lose out on you. Capricorn singles, what's going on with you, people? Please, Capricorn singles, for the month of July, justice, the way it should be. So you want things that are going to be fair, balanced. You're looking at your old self, how you used to do things, how you used to judge things. Right now, you're willing to even cut yourself to make it fair, to make it balanced, to make it even. And you're looking and saying, you know what? I value myself so much more than that. Why did I accept less? Why did I accept this bolt? Okay, Capricorn, calm down. Calm down. Capricorn singles. Ha. More options and choices. You know you got a lot of choices. Two viable choices expressed by the two ladders here. Some of you guys can have like a spirit animal or a really big connection to um, bats, dragons, anything like that. It could be that you, some people talk about like having a dragon guardian, 
Um, other people are just like drawn to like images of dragons or anything like that. The Knight of Pentacles, okay. So this is moving slow. You're not gonna jump at anything. You're gonna move slow. But you know, what solid offers. This person also is solid. You're gonna keep your balance, your wits about you. And again, you're gonna be merging your energies of your higher power, your intuition, merging them with what you want. And you're only accepting good offers, like decent, real, viable options. So, okay, I'm taking that out since it flipped and I saw it. We've got the moon card. Anything that makes, give me one second. Okay, Capricorn. So, a lot of different options. Leaving a lot of betrayals, dry land, things that don't become you. Um, even looking at the sky and saying, you know what, there's just nothing here for me. Just moving on from all of that energy, which I absolutely approve of, obviously. So, let's talk a little bit about... <laughs> about cooperation, about looking at the cogs that are working together, the ones that don't work together. Sorry, I guess I ate that card. I do need this deck again, I suppose, but I hate buying the same deck twice. So this is about creativity and wanting to um, throw your lot in with someone else and kind of create something that's bigger than you. That's my dog having connection fit because my mom just got here and he wants to jump up on the couch with them. If you can hear all that fuss. So King of uh, Knight of Pentacles is somebody coming towards you who does want to invest time, energy, effort into you. But they'll be slow about things as well. Okay? So Seven of Swords, now you're going to be doing your own stuff. You're not going to message nobody. I feel like you're just, again, going to be focused on what it is for you. Some nostalgia about the past. A little bit about your... Um, ooh, your solar plexus just about thinking about the times when you kind of had what you want even but remember that when we look behind we're usually kind of like in this mode of fantasizing about the best of times not thinking about the rest of times which is the whole picture just only the good stuff yeah the times when maybe um, somebody wanted to wine and dine you and give you like little tokens of maybe bring a little bit of vino and things like that into your life and setting up home and hearth and then a freaking tower hitting you. So you're not trying to repeat that at all. Single Capricorns, okay. Let's try this again. Single Capricorns, what else do we have going on here for you, please? Single Capricorns in July, the star. You definitely know what you want. You have your heart sight set on it. You're probably not even talking about it to anybody. Um, you want to be number one, though. You're not going to take or play second fiddle to anybody because it's too damn draining, too exhausting to juggle everything, too much responsibility. You want a real connection, and you're not going to accept anything other than that. You're not accepting um, less than, okay? You're not accepting somebody that comes you with mystery or bullshit or shenanigans. You're simply going to accept nothing but clarity. If they're not clear coming towards you, you're not doing it. End of story. Yep. And I'm ending your reading with this card I just saw. This is the hangman gaining a better perspective, a spiritual perspective. This is ascending, by the way, as I drop all my cards all over again. But this is spiritual ascension. I'm really looking at things from a different perspective and trying to gain, I guess, a better handle on how you see the world, um, the complete world, the complete picture. And because those other cards came out, well, that's not a big surprise. You're wanting justice on every front. So that's what I see for you. Dear Capricorn, with that, I'm going to leave you. Hope that you are well, and namaste.